I am joined by Christine Wickstead of Duke, a senior breaststroker. Christine, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for having me. So we're uh, just coming up right, right now on your final ACC championships. Just what does that feel like? Um, it's kind of surreal. Um, a lot of my friends just finish up their season at Cavalier Invite, so um, we're kind of next to be to be done here. But um, it's just it's just weird. Um, it's not really sunk in yet that this is the last time I'll be swimming at ACC championships, but besides being just such a surreal moment, I think I'm more excited than anything. We have a great team going, and um, I think I'm just going to focus on really having fun because it's the last one, last one, fast one, have fun. That's really all you can do. Yeah, you've had a pretty successful season going to um, going at that, the Nike invite, some of the top times in the conference. You're currently third in the 100 breaststroke, right up there in the two breast, the two IM. Um, what kind of confidence has that given you going into ACCs, and what kind of goals do you have for this meet? Yeah, I mean, swimming that well in November really kind of gave me a, a self-confidence boost going into ACCs now. Um, I'm just going to let it fall into place. There's really nothing you can do. You've done all the work. You've done all the sets. You've done all the training you can do. So you just got to kind of believe in that and believe in the taper you've done and, and know that the coaches have planned for us to do and swim the best we can do. So in terms of goals, I really just think being all ACC again would be awesome, but just having fun and not really stressing about outcomes and just letting things happen the way they happen. Yeah. Um Last year, a great performance at ACC's where you got second in both breaststrokes and under a minute for the first time in the 100 in the prelims. But that prelim time, faster than you went in the finals. What Have you thought about that at all, trying to put your best swim out there at the in the finals? Yeah, I mean, I think going to prelims, the hard part was over. And then finals, I just kind of was like, have fun, go as fast as I can. So, I mean, I'm not going to dwell on going slower in finals. Like Stuff like that always happens. Mm -hmm. So I think just going and knowing I've gone under it before and know that, knowing that I can do it again will really help no matter what. So, Is there any like goal you've thought of or just race? Um, I think just race. I think that's the most important part for me right now, um, going over your race strategy and, and really hitting the certain things that will really help those tenths of the seconds get shaved off. That swimming tenths of the second really matter most. So I think just doing the race strategy I've planned to do and, and just having fun, stuff will happen, the times will be there. Right. Last year, first NCAA championships. Um, just talk about that experience, how, what it was like and how it's carried over to this season. Yeah, that me, it's crazy. I've been to trials before, but NCAA swimming with the magnitude of swimmers that were there, it's just, it's just crazy. Um, the energy there and just everyone swimming so fast. So I think just having that experience under my belt for this year um, will definitely help me moving forward. And then hopefully having more of a team presence there this year is kind of me and Lauren's main goal is just to have more girls there, more bodies there, because that's what makes it fun is having a team there. So in the end, hopefully uh, Duke will have, have a good team there. You've led me right into the next question. You've, um, <laughs> especially the, the women's relays this year, definitely um, much improved, really fast, really competitive. Talk about the goals of um, getting a relay to NCAAs and um, and even the medley relays, the strongest you've um, you've ever had them since you've been here and definitely will be competitive at ACCs. Yeah, I mean, the freshman class that's come in this year has really just kind of stepped it up a huge notch and, and they're, they're the, they'll be a main reason why we get a, a relay to NCAAs. Um, I think me and Lauren are super happy to have the people we have on our relays. Um, and just seeing how they've improved and how young these girls are, they're just going to get better from there. So it'll be cool to see that once I graduate. But um, having relays there and being an All-American with them would just be the icing on the cake for last season. And, and again, having that team presence there would be great for Duke and, and great for our program. Yeah, no question about that. And this is the strongest Duke women's team that they've had since you've been here. Talk about what it's been like watching the program you know, grow, get bigger, get more, um, get more financial commitments with the um, new scholarships that are coming in? Yeah, it's been crazy. It's the like night and day since I've been here freshman year. Um, but it's been also awesome to see how my class has really been a part of that and been a part of that change and how I can look back and say, hey, I was a part of this, getting all those full scholarships and seeing that progress, like I had, had a part in doing that. So I think leaving here, that's something you always want to leave a legacy. And I think that's something that our class definitely had something to do with. And it'll be great to look back on years to come. Yeah, thanks, Christine. I really appreciate it. And uh, good luck this week in Greensboro. Thanks.